was he doing to the duck? What's up everyone, this is Luprecht and we're about to watch the 5th episode of the 2nd season of House of the Dragon. Alright, before anything else, if you haven't already, please subscribe because that really helps the channel grow. And if you've already subscribed, thank you. Okay, so my background light is red in honor of the red dragon, Melise, as well as Renice. <sighs> we really lost Renice last episode. And to me, it's a big loss because I really truly loved her. I liked the character. I liked the actress who portrayed her, Eve Best. I thought Eve Best had a very strong screen presence. And on top of that, the character herself, Princess Renice, had a very comforting presence. Every time she was on screen, I just felt comfort. I always felt at ease for some reason. Like there was something so effectively motherly about her, motherly and fair. And I'm gonna miss that. I'm gonna miss that. But at least she went out in her own terms. You know, she it was her choice to keep going back and try to finish the job. I think at the end, he, she was trying to find Cole because he was looking down on the ground. I don't know, I'm not sure. But still, I will forever miss her. But yeah, it's a shame that we lost her so, so, so basically so early. I would not be so heartbroken if we at least, so, if we got three battles out of her. But what else can I say? And also, I'm not really sure if we lost Aegon because when I was editing my reaction to the previous episode, I zoomed in on his body on, on the ground and they just sh showed a very brief shot of him on the ground. Like there was no close up, which I acknowledged in the previous video. So I don't really know if he's actually dead or he, if he's just crippled or burned, but still alive. Obviously. I have no idea because I did not watch the preview for this episode and I also did not look it up if he's actually dead because like I said, I'm terrified of accidentally reading spoilers. But yeah, so if Aegon is dead, I also misspoke in my intro last episode. I said something like, Kristen Cole went off to, to recruit more men for Allison. I said Allison, but I meant Aegon. And now I guess that's basically gonna come true because a couple episodes ago Sir Laris teased Aegon about that possibility you know that if he were to die Alicent would take over and I have watched reaction videos to last episode to episode 4 and people say it's gonna be Aemon that's going to take Aegon's place and I really, I really don't know how this is all gonna go it's either Allison or Aemon, but it's scary. It's a scary idea if Aemon does replace Aegon on the throne. Because if it's just Allison, I'm not super worried. She's gonna she's gonna try and retaliate, but for the most part, I think she's gonna be fair. She's gonna be she's gonna be fair in her eyes. But with Aemon, it's scary because I don't think he has any filter. He killed his own brother. So that's a scary, a very scary thought if it's him sitting on the throne. So I don't know. I don't know. And now I guess we're going to see Missaria in the council because we've lost her niece. Someone needs to step in and be like a new voice of reason for Rhaenyra. And then we also have Damon down at Harrenhal having hallucinations. I don't know if it's just the curse of the place or if he's under the curse because of Alice, the, the witch, or if it's because of the weirwood tree that he's been sleeping on. Um, but I don't know. I hope he snaps out of it soon because he can't be wasting so too much time down at Heron Hall just having all these hallucinations. We still lost Renice and every time I get reminded of it, I go, I just hate thinking about it that we've lost her niece, but I hope her death does not go to waste. But yeah, we should get started. Oh, I forgot to talk about Kristen Cole in my intro. I don't even want to talk about him. I hate him. Vagar stepped on a few men, and of course, Kristen Cole, of all people, survived. 
you know, some of his men were burnt or crisp, and all he got was a concussion. It's hard to get rid of weed. I wonder how Renice is gonna take it. Poor Corliss. Are we ever gonna see a Lanar back? Is that his name? Lanar? Lanar? They had great chemistry too. She's actually crying for a niece. Of course, just as I start recording, the neighbor's dogs start. Wow, hard times. Whatever happened to the blacksmith? By your king! But where's the king? To Egon! Mark my words, this is a black omen. A lot of people don't seem to be happy. This is an abomination. Don't they realize we won the battle? Strange victory, if it was one. Oh, oh wait, so he's actually dead? He's in there? Because I was thinking if he somehow survived, he can switch sides. I thought the dragon was just gods. Oh, so that's how, why they're so... It's just me. Unhappy with this sight. Those people are still there. The rat catchers. Because you know, if Aegon somehow survived. Oh no, so he's actually dead? Oh, immediately she knows. Because she handed. He, Alicent handed Aegon that knife in. or that dagger in season one. They never even re reconcile. Aegon and Helena after their son's death. So he's really just dead, huh? I really would have liked to have kept him around. At times he was funny. You know, the face. Oh wait! We're putting him Is he alive? in bed. Remains with us for the moment. That's good, but keep an eye out for Eamon. Oh my god! Keep an eye out for Eamon because he's gonna finish the job. Oh my god, it's, it's melted right onto his skin. Is my son going to die? I'm afraid I cannot say. I am... Look, I am gonna say it again. Aegon tried his best. Remember when he... was willing to return the sheep? Someone will have to rule in his stead. Salt and lemon? That's something that we still do to this day. What happened? We took the castle. At the cost of some 900 men, Sunfire was long in the dying. The king, Sir Christopher Mott befell him. He for sure saw Vagar. No. Vagar had dukened him. What was his part in this? I could not say. Our largest dragon has been killed. Kristen Cole marches about the crown lands unchallenged. We still have no ground army, but the one we hope that Damon will raise. He who has left us after some marital spat. Do you take issue with me, Sir Alfred? Remove some of these my men from your council. Proven, my queen. Your loyalty, perhaps. 
but your willingness to give me deference in a time of war. It is merely that the gentler sex heretofore has not been much privy to the strategies of battle. What? There has been peace in our lifetime. You've seen no more battles than I have. Good point. Where is Miss Saria? Bring her in. If Cole pursues his campaign, our allies must be we ready. We must answer Rook's rest and Duskendale. They are lost already, but Vagar is depleted after such a hard-fought battle. If Aegon is dead, we will soon know it. It would be a victory in name only. They will soon prop up another in his stead. The time is ripe. If we can strike King's Landing before that dragon is recovered... Then he? I myself must do it. My queen, you are the crown. It is out of the question. What would you have me do? Rhaenys is no longer there. He had some attitude last episode towards his mother. To Harren Hall? Understandable, but... With Damon. He must affirm his loyalty to my mother and report his standing. And do you think you will tame him when the Queen herself could not? My mother gladly sends you away to scout, to fight. Whilst I'm here being forced to play the coddled princeling, it's humiliating me. She only protects you. You are the succession. I can sit still. Last episode you said your mother could not go to Rook's Rest because she could not die. The phrase. They control the crossing at the Twins. She will not like it. Then don't tell her. Not until I'm away. The hour is late. And my dragon is hungry. Our terms are simple, Lord Bracken. Renounce the false King Aegon as a usurper. And bend the knee to me. I would sooner be the lord of bones and cinders than bend my knee before some heathen blackwood cunt. That is quite the impression, Lord Bracken. But alas, not an answer. We choose fire. I did not think they would be so eager to die. You should have indulged them. I need them alive. I came here to raise swords, not corpses. They are pig-headed, intransigent. They would rather burn than succumb. Exactly the kind of men I need. I guess. They are unyielding in battle. This was the kid last season. They called a craven or something. There are things the crown itself must not be seen to do. Show them your worst. I am your servant, your grace. They called him Craven and then he ended up killing the bullies, basically. Over the centuries, many and more armies have broken themselves against my bloody gate. Are you listening? My lady. The eerie itself is impregnable. Oh. Unless, of course, we're descended upon from the sky. You promised the Queen Rhaenyra 15,000 swords. In return for protection. A dragon. She sent two. Tiny dragons. I have hunting hounds that are more fearsome. They are dragons nonetheless. I do not recall you specifying the size of the beast in your request. Will you goad me, child? When your bread and shelter now depend on my pleasure. The dragons will grow. In time. I don't have time. I mislike feeling powerless. So do I. This will be your chamber. I'll expect you at supper this evening. My sympathies. For the death of your grandmother. The way they spoke at my small council today. Do they hold you responsible for Rhaenys and her dragon? I would rather they had. They speak around me, not to you. Oh, they would make me queen, but they wish to keep me here, confined. They betray their own smallness. In truth, I cannot fault them. I am now the sovereign. I cannot do as I please. And war has ever been for men to make. You are your father's chosen successor. He did not prepare me to fight. Instead, I was given my father's cup. But not the difference between hilt and foible. Shall your evening meal be served here, Your Grace? Not now. Will you send to him? For too long I have looked to him for strength. If I must be supplicant to my own husband, what does that make me? The path I walk has never been trod. Kristen Cole made a mistake. Parading a dragon's head through the streets like a prize of war. But the people see an ill omen. Oh, yeah. They are afraid. Bread is scarce. 
the king has fallen, they whispered to each other that when Viserys lived, there was peace. Do not underestimate your subjects. They are a thousand thousand living in the shadow of the Red Keep and forgotten for too long. And you think they will turn to me? How did you already know all that? What you cannot do, let others do for you. Was that Missaria? Oh! The thought of her lying in a field, broken amongst her enemies. Did your grandmother ever tell you of the night she claimed Maylis? She snuck into the dragon pit? My father was furious. His own mother's dragon. The fastest beast ever known, and she loved none of him. <laughs> but bent her neck to Rainey's. She was fierce. In love and in anger. She did not always care for me. But for what she gave me in the end, I'm grateful. And with her gone, I must rely on you, I think. Your grace? Would you give this to your grandsire? I do not wish to stand alone. Damon. Damon, you're this? the strong one, the fearless dragon rider. Your brother had great love in his heart, but he lacked your constitution. Viserys was unsuited for the crown, but you, Damon, you were made to wear it. If only you'd been born first. Why does he keep I getting visions of having blood in his hands? Is the duck not to your liking, Your Grace? Is he, is he. What is he doing to the duck? There's also goose, if oh. you prefer it. Uh, I'm not hungry. <laughs> I, just thought, I just thought about what I said. What's he doing to the duck? I believe Willem Blackwood is bringing House Bracken to you. You seem sure of this. This better be worth it. All this time at Heron Hall. How does the work here progress? The roof alone is needed tending since the reign of Anise and the storerooms and, and the Wailing Tower. This guy reminds me of uh, an older Samuel Tarly. There is, of course, the matter of payment. Yeah, they have no coin. Laris has it all. Laris transferred his family's wealth to King's Landing. I rather thought your grace as emissary to the Queen. Perhaps she could provide the necessary coin, if you could only write to her. No. Paranoid is my command. I shall guarantee the payment myself. Oh wait, he's taking Harrenhal for himself? You should address me as my king. But you're the prince. What would you call the husband of the queen? Well, the king. There it is then. Consort. That last bit seems unnecessary, don't you think? Where is this going? His grace suffered grievous burns over much of his body. I fear there are more injuries within. I must admit, I'm not sure he will ever wake. I have plied my crafts to their fullest extents. Please have him wake. I would like to see him switch sides. Or at least... Put a dent in Eamon's ego. Sleep. The realm will have noticed his absence. Let them hear of his great deeds at Rook's Rest. But now we must name a regent to take his place. Until he recovers. Did you have a candidate in mind, Your Grace? I myself Don't. served in this role for my husband. I am well prepared to do it again. But circumstances have changed. The king does not lack for heirs. The obvious choice is his immediate successor, Prince Aemon. Agreed. Aemon is young. And his lack of restraint has already cost us dearly. Oh, it crap. is experience. Queen Alison ably shouldered the duties of the realm when her husband's health failed him. Experience is valuable, yes, but the Dowager Queen is a woman. Aemon is a fearsome dragon rider. His skill is best employed in the field, but my experience is needed here at this table. No offense was meant, Your Grace, but at a time when we must show strength. Lord Laris. I agree, Your Grace. It must be Prince Aemon. Oh my! What would it say if, in response to Rhaenyra's crowning, we raised up a woman of our own? Sir Kristen, what say you? 
You're already in my shit list, Bolt. It must be him. Just made it worse. It's agreed, then. What is our standing in the Riverlands? The banners of House Tully are in disarray, Your Grace. Prince Damon has little hope of fielding an army of any size for now. This is the product of your misunderstanding, Alicent. The city spreading word of their fear and unrest. She's fuming. Then let the gates be closed. With bloodshot eyes. With the veins popping in her eyes. What are your tasks? I'll someone cut down the fucking rat catchers. It's the only good thing he's done so far. Have someone cut down the bodies. There is no food. He's gonna fulfill Egon's promise to you now. For all we know, every road leads into the dragon's teeth. Like the one they carted through the streets. We should make for Tumbleton. My brother will have room. You would have me turn beggar. To save your lives, yes. Are we not beggars already? Have you been paid for those machines you were forced to build? The king has promised payment. The king has lied. I don't think Aegon actually lied. It's the people around him that does not want to fulfill it. By all means, stay and wait for his empty promises, husband. With them, you can feed the mouths of ghosts. You need to swallow your pride, sir. Your kid is dying. Oh, he's gonna go. A lot of reactors said that it was Cheese who kicked him, the dog. No, it was blood. It was a big guy. Presumed you'd be here, seeing faithfully to the Prince Regent's commands. Aemon is the next in line. It is the order of things. Has your loyalty faded, or is it? Flourish only at night and flee the sunrise like a moth. What I saw at Rook's Rest. What? What did you see? Their armor melted. There were men walking, they were on fire. We have given the war to the dragons. The dragon riders should lead us. So you cast me aside? What we must do now is terrible. Is this who you are, Alison? I did not ask to be spared. And I did not give you leave to speak my name. Mm. How are you going to get out? Oh no, if Eamon is not going to like this. Just let them out! Eamon? Does he mean the king? I don't know. You cannot keep us here! To return to your homes! You want me! You waited too long. Our Lord Grover Tully has not declared for Rhaenyra. Means death to bear steel against your liege, as I'm sure my prince is aware. And against your queen? Our hesitance does not lie in Rhaenyra as queen. Our fear lies in Vagar. You fear a dragon, leagues away, when mine own sits outside your walls. Do you offer us your protection? I do. And the protection of my uncle. And Damon, I'm sure, has consented to this? He will do as his queen commands. He's making empty promises. Harris Strong has been relieved of his castle. You want Harrenhal? For that, my mother will want more than your crossing. He's making empty promises. Bent knee. I don't like the way he... He's been looking these past couple of episodes like Like that, like I'm getting <laughs> villain vibes instead of someone to root for. I don't know if that's on purpose character wise or if that's just an acting choice from the actor. But you know, obviously if you know something, do not tell me. In making promises like that, promises he clearly cannot keep, clearly is not a good move. 
Let it not be said that Damon Targaryen failed to dirty his hands in this war. Oh, let me see them. What is going on here? I hear strange things from Brackenland, from Stonehenge, and Lambswold, and Moray. What I hear, I hear in the wind. Cries of anguish. Children being taken from their mother's men, coming home to find their doors unlatched, their wives carried away. War is a terrible thing. This is not war. These are crimes against the innocent that any upright man would repudiate. Surely you haven't mistaken me for an upright man. The Blackens had their chance to do as I required. They will perhaps think better of their decision if their children's lives are staked on it. Is that the kind of army you would raise? Well, once they agree to serve me, I'll treat them fairly. That fool Egon is unlike to survive. The realm will suffer if Aemon One-Eye rules. Aemon One-Eye. Why did you see Aemon as yourself last episode? I'm sure your tactics are, after all, approved by the Queen. She cannot succeed, Alice, even if I willed it to be so. The people who support her will not be led by her. They look to a man for strength. When I take King's Landing, Rhaenyra is welcome to join me there and take her place by my side. So he's going on a different, different path? It's a pity, don't you think, that you never knew your mother? A message, Your Grace. Um. Uh, fresh news from Stonehenge. The Blackwoods have overwhelmed the Brackens and... She just disappeared behind him. House Bracken is yours. I sought you at high tide. I was surprised when they said you were here. My castle is a tomb. Empty. Haunted. I am sad to have missed its highest days. The wealth you brought back from E.T. and a shy, inspiring awe. And envy. I wonder if any of them knew it was all for her. Queen Rhaenyra wishes to name you Hand. Even the death of my wife does not content her. It is a sign of her great esteem. Or does she think the position will compensate me for my loss? Pledge your peace to King's Landing, then. They will accept it most gleefully. Tell them. I would sail into the West and be lost. Rhaenyra, I mean Rhaenys, will not like your decision, Corliss. She was a Targaryen princess, the queen who never was, and she flew to Rook's rest of her own will, in defense of her kin. And she died. She died as she would have wished to die, with honor, in dragon fire, the way my mother chose, and the way I myself wish to meet my end. I will see Rhaenyra ascend the Iron Throne, as Rhaenys wished, as Rhaenys herself should have. You yourself may do as you see fit. Granddaughter, I would make you my heir. I am blood and fire. Driftmark must pass to salt and sea. Your Grace. I wish you to go to Harrenhal. Are you removing me from your council? I, I will not deny you have tried my patience of late. Or that I would prefer a council more inclined to champion their queen. But you and your house served my father well. And I know you will never accept the Hightower claim. Not while I live, Your Grace. We cannot challenge King's Landing without the Riverlands, but I will not send a message by Raven for Dane to disregard. I ask you to reason with him. So he's now directly involved in a marriage spat. <laughs> Whether he means to raise a host for me or for himself. For himself. He would not dare. <sighs> if you know Dame to lack in daring, go now with haste. I'll send good men to see to your safety. Have you any message for him? Tell him I would much like to finish our last conversation. Your Grace. Your Grace. He's sleeping so comfortably. <laughs> Why so urgent? Is there some reason you feel free to wake a king in his bed? House Bracken have been brought to heel at the hands of Willem Blackwood. There have been um, complications. The sacred seps on Bracken lands were looted and burned. As were the fields and farms. The livestock was stolen and our peasants put to the sword. They pursued the women and the children. 
There were works of barbarity. The Brackens were given their chance. They would not see reason. The Blackwoods have exploited the war for the crown to visit atrocities upon I their have old seen rivals. I my fair share of their quarrels, and I tell you there is no honor in a fight such as honor. this. Honor? What of common decency? These beasts proudly carried the banner of House Targaryen. A terrible war is being fought in these lands. Have you looked after our girls? We should have expected nothing more from a man who ordered the slaughter of a child in his mother's arms. That is a lie, and I will have the man who told it brought before me. Oh, your man is half the kingdom, my prince. And dragon or no, we shall not raise our banners for a tyrant. That almost seemed like a... what? Almost seemed like an... Another hallucination. What mission did she give her? She seems so so unsure of herself though. This is just gonna fail. I have an errand for the Lady Miss Haria. I thought she was dead. I must see an old friend. She looks like she's about to cry. I'm afraid that might give her away. Was it worth the price? Oh, wait, doesn't Helena have a dragon? Because in my outro last episode, I said the greens only have Vagar left. He looks like he can survive. <gasps> oh. He called her mummy. Prince Tesseris, your grace. Like he's regressed into childhood. Hello, mother. I just made empty promises that I know I cannot keep. Lysenia. Vagar's first rider. Mm. And the first wielder of Dark Sister. I hope you do not mean to use her as an example. Why shouldn't I? What is the mood at the twins? I made empty promises. He wishes for the phrase. To be granted Harrenhal at war's end, assuming. I'm proud of you, Jace. You've done our cause a great service. Oh, at war's end. Then why do you look angry? You chafed at being prevented from action. Imagine, my lord, I'm a dragon rider as well, with a war being fought over my ascension. And yet I must wait here, sending others to fight and be felled in my name. Even you've managed to do your part. You are the queen. My point earlier. Yeah, but you're the heir! I did not give you leave to go. But who else is there? Rhaenys is dead and Baylor cannot bear the burden alone. And when Aemond comes hunting for you, your dragon is young. Will you fly before Vagar as Luke did? Perhaps Daemon could... Daemon is not here. And Aemond now rules in King's Landing. Is Aegon dead? Dead or alive, we have no answer for Vagar. What about that dragon that... Damon sang to. Vagar is big, but Cyrax is quicker. So was Melise. Melise fought two dragons and one of them is slain. Slain by Vagar. I need dragons. We have no dearth of dragons. We have two large enough to stand against Vagar. They are called Vermithor and Silverwing. And they sleep just beneath our feet. Yes, and if only they had riders, none could stand against me. Vermithor and Silverwing? There are those of our line who never ruled, those who married into other noble houses, their children born with other names. A generation ago or more, the blood would be thin. And yet? The dragon will only accept a dragon lord to ride it. Also say the histories. <laughs> Valyrian histories, written to gild us in glory. Are you suggesting we put a malister on a dragon? A tarly? It's better than death and defeat. I like him this way, not like... There are records here, surely, of our line, and of those who fell out of it.
I'm not making fun of his face, by the way. There could be scores of them. He's clearly a handsome kid, but the way he just, when he's... <sighs> that went by quick. <sighs> Alright, that was the fifth episode of House of the Dragon Season 2. I just want to continue my point about Jaceris uh, making the face like... I'm not making fun of the actor's face, I'm making fun of the face that he's making. Because I'm not sure, right now I'm not sure if uh, it's foreshadowing something about him, the character, or if it's just the actor's choice to portray the character that way. Because last episode, when he was, in, uh, he was having an argument with his mother, when Rhaenyra wanted to go ride on a dragon and go to Rook's Rest, he was like, no, you can't go, because if you died, it will all be for nothing. And then he said something like, um, we stand at the ready. Like that. <laughs> and I kind of commented something like that all of a sudden he has some fight in him. All of a sudden, he's always had fight in him. It's just that the, the attitude was a new development, if I may say so myself. And then it carried over in this episode. Like, there's this, this attitude, there's this oomph about him now. Um, I hope it doesn't mean anything, but I don't know if all the promises that he made down at the Twins are promises that he's going to be able to keep because it requires Damon's cooperation, which even Rhaenyra does not currently have. So I don't know how that's going to go down. Because, you know, you can't just make promises like that and not fulfill it and expect just to go by scot-free. Because we've all seen the Red Wedding. But yeah, so I guess they're considering putting non-pure blood Targaryens on dragons. But they would have to tame their dragons first. And of the two dragons that Jace named, did that include the dragon that Damon sang to back in season one because that looked like a, a, a huge dragon and now Corliss is going to be Rhaenyra's hand and I guess eventually Lady Missara is gonna become part of her council which I don't know why she's I mean why Rhaenyra is delaying making Missaria part of her council I guess it's because she's a woman and the men currently in, in Rhaenyra's council are so against the idea of a woman strategizing in battles or wars. So I guess I kind of get it. But I guess now we know what Daemon is planning. He, he took Harrenhal not for Rhaenyra but for himself because he want to use its resources and its like strategic advantage geography wise to eventually take King's Landing. He did say that Rhaenyra is welcome to join him if he manages to do that, join him at his side. But the thing is, if you're gonna go different paths, like Damon is going this side and Rhaenyra is going that side, going for the same prize, like I said, I don't know if I said it, but yeah, I if it's just gonna be one going against Pagar, like you go one by one, you're just gonna lose. Like what happened with Renice and Melise. You need to use your numbers to your advantage instead of separating and doing what you please on your own while Ronira goes and does what she pleases on her own. But I guess we'll have to see. I hope Aemond being the King Regent does not last long. I hope Aegon does wake up. It sounded like he regressed to being a child again when he called Alicent mummy. I hope he still has his wits about him because I want him to spill the beans on Aemond that it was him that burned him. You know, and, and, and I saw reaction videos, I watched reaction videos to that episode and people were all like, oh it's because you know like Aegon kind of teased him last in episode 3 being at that brothel and, and you know being naked and stuff. I don't think that's a good, a, a good enough reason. To just burn your brother that's not a good enough reason i think he's been aemond has been planning this for a long long while 
you know, I know he's expressed before that he has interest in being king. He has interest in, in the crown. When the twins, Sir Eric and Sir Eric, were looking for Aegon because he was going to be crowned the king, Aemon back then did express that he wanted to be king. But it's, I think it's such a betrayal because Aegon wanted Aemon to be in his council because he's his blood. So he has like, even if he teases Aemon, he still looks up to him, he still respects him. It's just brotherly teasing. And that's nothing compared to what he did. So I don't believe that that's enough justification to just burn your brother alive. Just because he teased you at the brothel. And like I said, in a weird way, I like Aegon. There's a ch there's been a change because he was he was like organizing fighting fighting pits for ch for kids back in season one before he was king. He was always drunk. He was like uh, masturbating outside the window. You know that that was his life back before he was king. But ever since he's been king, yes, he's been drinking. He still drinks. He still goes to brothels and stuff. But for the most part, whenever whenever duty calls, he's there. And and when when people have their like um, petitions, he actually sits and listens. Remember when he was very willing to return that farmer's sheep and also his promise to the blacksmith, which he did want to fulfill. But it's the people around him that don't want don't want the crown to have less assets. They want everything for themselves. But Aegon himself saw like, oh, this farmer needs his sheep. So I'm going to return them. Ah, oh, this blacksmith needs more coins. So I'm going to give him more coins. And, but it's the people around Aegon that did not want any of that. That, that did not want to fulfill any of that. So I would like to see him survive. You know, that's a, I think that's a good consolation for having lost Renice. Because if he does survive, I really hope that he spills the beans on Aemon. And Aemon does not just like kill him with a dagger. But anyway, so that was the fifth episode of the second season of House of the Dragon. What did you think of the episode? If you enjoyed this reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe, and click on the notification bell to get notifications when new uploads. And if you've already subscribed, thank you. This has been Liprecht. See you next episode.